Good morning, my friends. I've been uh, car boondogging again. Uh, I found a wonderful place. It's called Stones Clint. First of all, I say the the pier you see down here is uh, because there's a chalk chalk mine just over here, and this is how they get it on the ships. But there's no no noise or, or anything from it, so it's a very very beautiful area. Um, as I say, I was uh, boondogging in my car last night, and uh, I just want to show you a little bit about this area. Um, first of all, there's a big area here behind me where you can uh, put your tent and tent camp, and also there's a shelter back here. At the moment, there's a group of school kids who uh, camp in the shelter and, and tents and stuff, so they have a lot of fun. And then down here behind me is where I'm parked. But just this this area is so beautiful. And uh, right here in front of me is a cliff. And I don't want to go too close because it's, it's uh, actually steep and, and kind of dangerous. If you get too close so I don't want to uh, risk anything but really really beautiful area another thing about this area and uh, car boondogging down here I'll show you you see that that's a small travel trailer it was uh, three young Germans who arrived short time after I arrived last night uh, they are also driving a Skoda and then they have this tiny tiny travel trailer a fiberglass travel trailer let's just turn this and um, I uh, talked to them last night we uh, sat outside the trailer and talked and enjoyed ourselves and uh, it was really, really nice. They're nice people and all. And they actually got, agreed to that we can have a look at their travel trailer. I'm gonna wait a little bit because they're only just waking up and, and moving around. So a little later on, I will have a, a closer look at their uh, small nest. So, uh, but yeah, really beautiful area. Let's go have a closer look at the area. You see this tower here in front of me, there's an old radar tower. It's changed into a viewing platform. And then the white round thing you see behind is a weather, um, a weather ra radar, a weather station. So, but uh, let's go up the, the tower to have a look. Here's, here you see the view. And actually over here you see the chimney and uh, they're digging for chalk in the chalk mine but as I say there's no noise or anything from it so it's all cool a really really beautiful view and here in the distance I don't know if you can see it on the video but can I actually see the the bridge to Sweden It's my first time at this place. Really, really beautiful place. I think there's a group of scouts hanging out down here. You see they've been sleeping out. And then here the weather thing. So yeah, that was a 360 view. I hope it's not too fast. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys when uh, my German friends have uh, gotten up so we can see their travel trailer.
Well, my friends, I've uh, agreed with my uh, new friends here at the camp that uh, they don't really feel like being on camera, so uh, I will just uh, have the camera aimed at the travel trailer. <laughs> but uh, anyway, here it is. And uh, yes, it is very small. <laughs> I think it's the smallest travel trail I've seen. It's almost like a teardrop trailer. <coughs> it is originally from East Germany and it was from 1987. Yeah. So it's right it's actually a year older than uh, than my nest. And uh it's only 500 kilo. Uh basically. And then you see here on the roof it has this uh ventilation that they can and I uh, is it okay I go inside uh, yes it's not very uh... <laughs> no nah, it's a bit messy that's <laughs> they used to that from my one but yeah you see here they can adjust the pop roof at at the moment is at the highest that it goes but it's to get ventilation I think it's really neat storage up here storage over there and then the kitchen has <laughs> a two burner propane stove and actually right here is a sink so all you need all you need is here and then there would be normally a dinette here but they just set it up like a bed there are three people traveling together so they need the big bed there you, you are can still turn, the it, bed. Uh, turn it up to a dining table yeah exactly yes exactly so you can change it into a dinette again if needed. I think it's really neat that here where you walk the floor is lower than in the rest of the travel trailer. I don't know if you can see it. I can try to do like this. You can see that there's it's lower at the point where you walk. But yeah, old East German quality. It's made from uh, fiberglass and here you see this was really I was surprised to see this you see this uh, mount that is very old style but again it works so very beautiful old thing <laughs> how long you had it just for one and a half years one and a half year yeah Really neat. Really neat. I love it. <laughs> it's, yeah, I understand that. That's our little nest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's really neat. And I guess because it's so small, when you drive the car, you don't feel it at all. Yes, no, you don't feel it. It's just, yeah. You just see it in the, in the mirror and then there was a lot of wind. Shaking. Oh yeah, yeah. And actually it's not it's not much wider than the car, just it's basically the same way. So you don't you don't need the big camping mirrors. No, no. You can do it with just the normal mirrors, that's neat. My one, I need the the extended mirrors. Because it's a wider it's a little bit wider in, than the car, yeah. <clears throat> it's really neat. And yeah, the, the top can open and then the back window opens up to so get some ventilation you see here i think in the first but i'm not sure in the, um, in the fabrication mode is uh, just uh, with no open just with a, a rooftop ah window. okay yeah and then it's changed is, uh, yeah, to the after you can uh, you could they fabricated uh, the windows that you can open mm. and you can put them on your uh, by yourself exactly that is that is so unique for East Germany. They made something and then they realized, ah, we could change that and then they made like an add-on uh -huh. so you could do it yourself. Yes. That's, that's really... Uh, I think yes. you had to do, you had Great. to learn a lot by yourself to do by yourself in mm. East German times. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you are not how old were you when the when the wall came down? Like almost like this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't ask for your age. 
That was you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I was very little. Yeah, but exactly. My parents, they taught us a lot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so neat. <clears throat> Yeah, well, that's a small nest. <laughs> that for sure is a small nest. My one would look big next to this. So, that was my new friend's little travel trailer. Their small nest. Traveling three people, but, well, they are only on vacation. They're not living full time or anything in it. But, uh, well, one of them is actually. Uh, getting a small houseboat ready but she can't really decide whether she should use it for living or just for vacation but uh, well I for sure think she should live in it but uh, <laughs> that's just me you know anyway I hope you enjoyed this video from uh, Stones Clint it's a beautiful place and uh, I'm really happy I went here so I met some new friends and uh, had a great day so I'm gonna drive on soon. Um, I had planned I wanted to go kayaking, but I think I've been in the sun too much today, so uh, better not. Uh, maybe kayaking tomorrow, I don't know. But let's see. Anyway, you guys take care and enjoy yourself. I hope you have a great weekend. And remember, life is good. Bye bye. <laughs>